What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. Today, I am going to give you guys five tips to help you find the best food in your area, okay? So, I know you guys are probably just used to seeing me going to eat places, um, but you never really know, you know, what what I do to find these places. I mean, so, so let's say it like this, right? Most people, if they're looking for food, they may, you know, use Google or uh, like, yeah, Google Maps or Alexa or something like that or whatever, or even, you know, the app Siri or whatever, and just basically ask, you know, what's the closest food near me or what's the best Mexican restaurant or what, whatever the case may be, right? So, the difference is, you know, uh, with how people do it day to day compared to how I do it is it helps me narrow down uh, exactly what I'm looking for. And nine times out of 10, I pretty much get what I'm looking for, as you guys have seen. So uh, I'm going to give you guys those tips and kind of let you guys know how to go about, you know, finding the best the best uh, restaurants that you're looking for based on your preference. OK. Tip one, and I'll, and I'll start, you know, from one to five, five uh, being the most important, just so you guys kind of have an idea. Uh, if you are already doing some of these things, great. If you're doing all of them, fantastic. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it to you now. The first tip is do your research, okay? Now, what I mean by do your research is... Uh, look into the reviews, okay? So let's say you do decide to do your Google Map thing or you do decide, you know, to use Siri. And, oh, hey, you know, where's the nearest, you know, uh, burger joint, whatever, right? So you definitely want to, whatever pulls up, if you're not familiar with the place, but it's it's been rated as the best, look at the reviews, okay? And what I mean by just looking at the reviews, definitely double check uh, the people who are, are are leaving the reviews. And by that, I mean you run into uh, situations a lot where you'll see reviews from anonymous or, you know, people with, you know, uh, no avatar and stuff like that. And it, it may only be three reviews, right? And out of those three reviews, all of them like, oh, it's perfect. It's great. Check it out. I never fall for those. And I'm going to tell you why. Most people who want to take the time out to leave a review, uh, they're 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 more specific so when it's good they're going to tell you why if it's perfect they're going to tell you why they're not going to just say oh good great job because leaving a review isn't required you know what i mean it's a choice so no one's going to make the choice to leave a good review just to say great nice place oh check it out and then if you only get three reviews uh it's hard for me to take that as you're the best okay i've seen uh, places that aren't really good at all get good reviews and bad reviews, but they get hundreds and hundreds of reviews So that says a lot, you know, what I mean that not only uh, Are they you know more more likely to be uh, Accurate compared to the reviews, but that they also get visited a lot Okay, so you want to look at those places and say let me make my decision more so off of those Okay, so that's your first tip do your research the second tip I would have for you guys is to select your wait time. And by that, I mean, before you pick a place, find out how much time you actually have to enjoy. Some of the best places take some of the longest times to have your food ready because, you know, the preparation, you know, the thoroughness, the quality of the food. So you definitely have to check your wait times. And by checking your wait time and, and how much time you actually have, it may not allow you to eat at the best place that day you may have to eat at the next best place or what what have you but you know definitely you know check your wait time always verify how much time you actually have to eat uh, compared to how much time it's probably going to take to enjoy these places now like i would say if you're looking for let's say a five-star restaurant near you it pulls up a five-star restaurant and it has great reviews understand that most of those places, not all, but most of them do, will have the notes where it, it lets you know, hey, you know, a long wait time, always packed, it's always busy, whatever the case may be. 
look at a five-star restaurant as a place where you're, you're definitely going to wait at least an hour before you seat it and even another 30 to 45 minutes before your food is ready. So these are the things you have to consider when you say you want the best, okay? And this is what I mean by uh, checking your wait time, okay? So definitely verify your wait time. That's tip two. Tip three, don't be bored, okay? And what I mean by that is have plans for your day. Everybody knows when you're bored, let's say you're bored in your home, right? Everybody knows at that point in time, you've probably looked at your refrigerator at least six times. It's the same refrigerator, same items, nothing's changed. But for some reason, when you're bored, you want to eat. It's like the only other thing to do, right? So when you're looking for a restaurant, never do it when you're bored. Always have something planned. You know, always have something that you're going to do. Um, because it'll help you make the best choice. When you're bored, you, you don't make the best choice. You just choose anything. And then you're disappointed when you get it and feel like you even wasted more of your time. So my suggestion, third step, like I said, definitely don't be bored, okay? And, I, and sometimes it's hard, depending on the date, depending on where you are, you know what I mean? But if you follow step one and two, it'll set you up how you should be for step three, okay? Don't be bored. Have plans. Make it work for yourself. You know, find something to do. Keep yourself busy. And, you know, make good choices. Okay? All right. Now, step four. Make the call. Now, by that, I mean, if you find a place, let's say you do your research, it has great reviews, uh, you realize, you know what? I got a little bit of time. I'm going to stop by, you know, me and my family. Whatever the case may be, we're going to go after work. I got time to wait. You know, uh... So you already have your day planned out. Call. And last but not least, step five. Don't starve yourself. Now by that, I mean don't wait until you're absolutely starving or hungry before you make the decision to find something to eat. It's the worst thing you can possibly do. Uh, that's why it's at the top of my list because I've seen the people make the most mistakes when they're the hungriest, okay? Uh, you think about it. You're starving. Uh, you work so hard that day that you missed your lunch break. You forgot to take your lunch to work, whatever. So you know, when I get off work, I got to eat. I got to eat. Whatever I see, I'm going to eat it. So you pull into a place, you know, a McDonald's, a gas station, who knows, right? And you're like, oh, I'm going to tear this up. Regardless, even if you don't stop and you go home, you're like, oh, nothing's in my fridge. You're not going to cook. So you're going to just mix stuff together. You know, you go, oh, I'm going to eat chips and cookies and cakes and I'm going to drink this and that. And you're going to be miserable. Okay. Like, trust me when I tell you it's the worst thing you can do. If you're not feeling like you're super starving, you're going to make better choices. But when you're starving, and you're hungry. You got to remember, it's a way of life. You know what I mean? Eating, having water, having shelter. Those are, are just day to day things that we expect to have. And the things that we're willing to do to have those things. There's really no limitations, right? So we see that on TV all the time where it shows like a clip of the end of the world in 2050 or whatever, and you see people turn cannibalists and they start eating each other. And most of us are like, that's crazy. I would never, I, I, that's just ridiculous. But you have people who already do it. And not to mention, when it comes to survival, there's really no limit on what people are willing to do. So my advice to you guys, definitely follow step five. If you're following any of the other steps, definitely follow step five. Do not make any vast decisions especially when you're starving because you're going to make the worst mistakes of your life okay those are my steps one through five for you guys i hope they're they're helpful to you if you have any steps for me comment below and let me know i'm all ears i'm definitely willing to change my perception you know uh you know depending on the advice and i hope you guys take mine until next time guys it's your boy mr grub i'm out